This is D5 Cody coming back at you with another video. Unfortunately, man, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a good video. Um I I'm devastated. I don't know what to say right now. This video is gonna be hard. Um now let me just read the tweet. Urgent alert. The Earn Hub staking pools have been compromised. The hacker was able to exploit our contracts and steal most of the tokens in certain pools and sell them draining our LP. We are looking into this and will share an action plan. Um, if you're staking in the step pool, unstake your tokens now. We are looking into it and we'll share a time for voice chat in which we'll discuss what's happening in an action plan. Let's go over the chart. And this is what they're talking about. Uh, the contract was compromised. It looks like they got into our staking pool wallet and sold all the staking pools, but maybe step. You see it fell off the cliff there. We went from, what, like 30 million market cap down to like two. We're currently rebounding. Um, I don't know if this is a good... Like, Rover was in the voice chat, and guys, like, I understand... I understand you're looking for a chance at to make some money and you're going to do what you do, but I don't know if I recommend buying anything right now. We don't know the full story or what the team is thinking. Like, um, yes, protect your wallets. Um, I don't know. Just protect your wallets, guys. This is not good at all. Um... This is showing some promise, though. We're already one-third of the way back to where our market cap was. In retrospective, though, like, we need to talk about the good, bad, and ugly. Like, everything good. So, let's just address the elephant in the room. Was this a rug pull? Um, after listening to Rover talk, I don't know. It don't look like a rug pull. Uh, to him, and... I gotta trust his word. So, um... Essentially, um, essentially, like, there's there's not, there's been some things that haven't been good for EarnHub recently, you know, and I try to, I try to call them out because, not that I wanted to FUD, but because if something like this happened, it doesn't look good. And here's a few things that I don't like, and it, and it, and it goes an argument for if this was a develop, dev, uh, a rug pull. And I'm not saying I'm right here. This is just devil's advocate here. You know, we had the fail launch. That was okay. They fixed it. But, you know, about four weeks ago, three weeks, three or four weeks ago, they fired Rover. And when they fired Rover, they had no face come forward. And, uh, you know, they, they've just not been in the community. They've been absent. And anytime somebody asks about this, they get shot down in the chats. They get told like, "Oh, they're they're working hard," but that's not a good look. And so you 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 fire over. You haven't updated vesting in four weeks. Um, you're still ignoring people about the five percent. The NFTs are taking forever to go out, but but you know other people can send NFTs. You know, I talked to an NFT developer. They sent over a thousand NFTs in a day. We're only waiting on like, you know, 6,000 or so, I think, or less than that. So, here's the thing. I trust Rover, but let's play devil's advocate here. So, the team's been missing. Everybody's been begging and begging and begging for Astro and them to come on the voice chat. And, and the minute, like probably within the first 15 minutes of, the first 15 minutes, you know, after the, uh, the exploit... There's Astro in the chat. Why did it take so long for Astro? And then, you know, Rover jumped in there. And it's almost like returning to the scene of the crime. But, I personally don't think Rover is involved. The rest of the team, I'm going to wait for their what they have to come out and say. I'm, I'm being transparent with my thoughts here, guys. Don't want you to overreact. Do not overreact. We don't know if... This is a, a rug pull or not. It looks from the outside looking in, and after listening to Rover talk, it looks like a hack. Why would they only take 300k, and why would they wait until our chart was weighed down? That's just my point of view. Um, 
needless to say, like the community is rallying, um, rallying really hard, and you know we're, we're they're bouncing back a little bit, but I, I'm lost for words because I feel like I let you guys down. Like I told you guys about Earnhub, I've sat here for six months and bled Earnhub for you know four to six months, including Safe Earn. And for this to happen, this is not good because marketing standpoint, you look at other tokens like Surge and stuff, like they still haven't completely bounced back and dropped a reputation. And like they're more and he's more active. We got a team that refuses to be active for whatever reason, and they're solely relying on the community to back them. But they gotta be more active because the community, we're losing communities. People just lost a lot of freaking money. And I'm not trying, I'm not trying to get emotional here, but we went from here all the way down to here. And the, I, I understand what they're doing in the chats. They're staying positive. I get it. But this is just people looking for opportunity. This is, that's all that is. All this green is just people looking for opportunity. There's a long way to go. We dropped Another zero while we gained it back. We dropped another zero. This is not good, guys. Like, we we went down all this. And this is to say, like, we had, a, you know, already dropped a zero, like, this month. All the way up. You know, we had a three to $400 million market cap, and now we're at a $5 million market cap. There's no sugarcoating it, guys. This is not going to be easy to come back from. And I was listening to Sunshine in, in the Telegram chat, and he, he understands. Like, if you guys need to take some time, like, even he understands. He won't respond to anything I say because I spoke to what I felt was the truth, and I was trying to look up for my investors. But it, it's facts. Here's my recommendation. What's happened has happened. Being emotional is not going to solve it anything. You're going to get stressed out. Um, what I do recommend, take a step back, wait for the team. See what the team has to say. If it was a hack, the team's not at fault. That doesn't mean marketing-wise, like, it's going to come back. Because honestly, I think one of the ways forward here is to rebrand, personally. Keep EarnHub, you know, keep EarnHub out here. Keep it performing. You know, the loyal is going to stay loyal. Um, and then fork it over like we did with Safer, but do it when we have all our products ready. I think we need a Certec audit. We we need an audit. Uh, you know, there was people in the chat asking about audits, and their comments were getting deleted. And now we have this. I mean, it don't sound audit doesn't sound like a problem here now. Um, we need somebody from the team to dox themselves. And I don't care what you say, like threats, whatever. I just dox myself on Twitter. My name is Cody Hall. I am 30 years old from Arcanum, Ohio. Uh, I grew up in Miamisburg. And the only reason why I'm not showing my face is because of insecurities. Like I did this to get out of my shell. I I'm sorry, but this whole excuse of not doxing, I'm done with this. We've had so many people not doxed and we've had, and there's no trust in the token. It it's going to be hard. To trust the token. Do I think the team rug pulled? My my heart is telling me no. But the way their the way their actions over the last few weeks, how anytime somebody asks questions, um, like I got banned because I raised questions and from and it was viewed as FUD, but it's not. All we're asking for is you know, the vesting wasn't updated for four weeks. Why was it not updated? Like, that's a valid question. Ever since rubber's been fired, there's been no real plan to come out for marketing. We're just asking for somebody to come out. We're asking for a face. Nobody's coming out. It's the whole community that's doing this. 5%. We were pretty much told to forget about it for now. It's going to hurt the chart. But it's not going to hurt the chart. Like... So what? They dump, and then what? Like, then they're, they're out. Then we can get their tokens. Like, it is what it is. The charts just dropping by the day. And there's just no real plans. And this is... 
my beep. And, and you know, I had a... I don't know. This is just a bad day for EarnHub investors. And I'm sorry if anybody bought EarnHub because of me and this happened to you. Like, I, I never wanted to lead my audience down a road where they would get screwed over. Because I want to help my audience make money. I'm here to make money. Um, my advice, set back. Rover did his thing, and it, it was very appreciated. Sit back, um, wait for the team to come out. When the team comes out, we'll have a plan going forward. Um, if you don't hold or you don't buy more, it's understandable at this point. It's up to the team now. It's up to the team now to prove themselves. They have the burden of proof, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm sorry this happened to you guys. I don't know what else to say. Um, it's not much I can say. This is a crappy day for all EarnHub investors. I mean, going from launch a month and a half ago, being at almost 500 million market cap to 5,000 or 5 million. So 500 million down to 5.5 million is not a great feeling. It really isn't, and there's not much I can say. Um, this is a perfect example why you never invest more than you can lose. I play with money that I can afford to lose, and it's I call it my gamble money. If I lose it, I lose it. But I know there's a lot of people, and we got to be sensitive to the fact there's a lot of people that lost a lot of money with this. Anyways, guys, um, just keep a lookout. They're supposed to be doing a voice chat soon. If they ain't already. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a, a better night to your day. Um, just keep, keep into the communities and see what they have to say. Protect your wallets, guys. That's all I got to say.